My name is Jose Cambrell Jr. and we are here in front of Fannie Lou Hamer High School to attend the fourth annual Sheridan Teen Summit to see what's going to happen to this entire park and Governor Cuomo's plan to build a new parkway on it. We'll go inside now, see what's going on. Nice to meet you, miss. So can you just tell us more about yourself? Like, what's your role in this organization? OK. So um, I'm the director of community organizing and outreach at Youth Ministries for Peace and Justice, one of the partner organizations of the SBRWA, which is the Southern Bron Bronx River Watershed Alliance. Um, so for the last four years, um, there's been a real youth um, connection with within the campaign, the Sheridan campaign. So young people have been organizing an annual event um, that brings, ties in all the different themes that are, um, are affected by the Sheridan campaign, including culture, health, um, uh, art, all these things, but um, how they affect young people so that young people can be informed on the campaign and can have space to, per, um, to participate in like the public process. I'm basically a youth organizer and I organize events for the communities that inform them about what's happening in the community. So basically at this year's summit, this is our fourth annual um, Sheridan Expressway Summit, we're basically trying to shut the Sheridan Expressway down because for one, it's an unnecessary expressway that cuts off um, the connections between our community and then our school and parks. Um, it just leaves a huge gap for our students and you know, parents, teachers, and everyone that lives in our community to like further branch out and have that exposure and making this a more well-rounded community. Um, not many people know what's happening because not many of them have cable to watch the news, not many of them have internet to see what's happening, and it's our job to inform them once on what's happening. So that's kind of what I'm doing, getting the youth involved too. On Wednesdays, we have this day where we let people come in and um, see what we're about and feel the program because like in the new year it's a program called COLA that we do that you can actually become a youth organizer so Wednesdays allow them to see what we do on a daily basis and interact with them on a more personal level than a work level. Right. So that's what this summit is about. Voicing our opinion because this is the last time we can say something to him. This is our last chance to prove that we're right and you're wrong and you should listen to us. So that's why we set this whole summit up. Yes, we're here for the Youth Summit for the Sheridan Expressway, but we've tackled so many things from DACA recipients, migration, um, immigration, having people deported just because they may not have the right resources, um, the things that are happening in Palestine. So the work that we've done this year alone is just, you know, extremely never ending. So it's just that we just have to serve our community the best way we can. Well, that sounds really deep, and I hope it works well for you guys. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that's it for today's episode. I'm Jose Cambrellan, and we'll see you next time.